Hey guys, Pop to Cult here, and welcome back to a new video today. And today we're gonna talk about day number three of my California trip. This day was actually a pretty fun day, a pretty eventful day, um, so to speak. And it was, a, it was a good day. I, I highly enjoyed it. I highly enjoyed it very much. So, so started off the day. We yeah, you, you stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned for the end because that's when the things are kind of kind of crazy. It, it was a cool day, just though. Stay tuned and watch it. I'd appreciate it if you guys stayed and did not leave. So, we woke up, start out the day, woke up in our hotel. I still like the hotel. The, the beds are really comfy. The, the pillows are really soft. I really like the pillows. I was a big fan of their beds. And they had decent beds. They're underrated. I like the Quinter. It's a pretty decent hotel. You know, I woke up, woke up around like 10 or 11. Woke up kind of early. My sleep schedule is actually pretty good in California. And I got a good nice rest, of course. Um, so, our first... Our first stop again was Randy's Donuts. We had to go back because the donuts were so good. Oh my gosh, I, I love that place. I just love the donut. Cause that's where Iron Man sat. Iron Man sat in there. I, I kind of wanted to see Iron Man, but he wasn't there, unfortunately. So uh, that was too bad. But I got I pretty much got the same things. I got a crumb cake. And, oh my gosh, I'm, I they don't have any Minnesota. I can't find them in Minnesota. I I gotta have a crumb cake, but I'm trying to eat healthy. I was on vacation, so I could I could eat unhealthy that was okay but then i also got like an oreo glazed donut and it was good but it was really sweet and it kind of gave me a headache so i wasn't too big fan of it but it was still a cool concept it looked really good and it wasn't bad but crumb cake takes pot no matter what and so after that we took our uber and our first trip was to it was kind of warm today it was, it, was a, it was a warm um day in uh, california on a friday uh Damn, it was almost a week ago. Oh, man, I'm missing it. I'm missing it already. Got the nostalgia. Oh my gosh, I I can't wait to go back. But anyways, yeah, we got our Uber. It was a hot day. Uber, we went. It wasn't too hot. It was, it was, the sun was really beating. But yeah. Anyway, so we, our first trip was to the shops. It was on Fairfax, and we went to like a bunch of shops and everything. We went to the. We went to a bunch of shops actually. It was actually pretty awesome. It was, it was a fun shopping day. We went to the first stop was Supreme. Went to the Supreme shop and uh, I got my first ever Supreme accessories so i'm now officially a hype beast not really but i got some supreme socks i'll probably make a video about that maybe i don't know how i'm gonna do that but maybe i'll make a video about that so i got some supreme socks and i saw it's expensive and i got supreme like uh like a bumper sticker which is really cool i got my sister a supreme hat because she really wanted that so if you're watching this lily um you owe me a lot <laughs> so then uh, we went to this store called Dope. I got a shirt there. I got like Modelo. If you guys know that, Modelo is like a beer. Carveza, a Mexican beer. And I never had it anyways, but I like the shirt, like the design of it. So I got that. All I got was a t-shirt. T-shirts and socks. I was already on my way to a hype beast. Went to the store where there's a key master. You guys know what that is? It's like a, it's kind of like a, you know, the game where it's a key master and you guys can win prizes. But in this era, there were like shoes. So that was cool and i wanted the yeezys i'm a huge yeezy fan i'm i'm a hype beast i think i'm low-key a hype beast i like the hype maybe i'm not hype beast but I'm, I'm into the hype and i like yeezys so i was trying to go for yeezys the white yeezys but i i didn't get them that includes barry because he's much better than i trust him it's like five bucks a play too so it's a little expensive so the machine really knows how to it's, it's a good business idea i went to a bunch of shops and everything uh for like a bunch of shoe a bunch of shoe shops i i really wanted to get some shoes but um, I knew if I bought some shoes, I wouldn't make it back home or eat for the remaining of the days. So, uh, I, was, I, was, I played it cool. I just got some socks and some, some uh, and a shirt. And, uh, we went to Fat Burger. I really want to try Fat Burger. So, I only tried in and out the, like two days two days before that. But I want to try Fat Burger because I, in the movie Straight Outta Compton, great movie, by the way, they, they eat Fat Burger. And I want to try it because it's like an L.A. thing. And I tried it. And it, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't. The good is like in and out burger. It was still pretty good though. I I, I liked it. Uh, Barry wasn't too big a fan of it. He, he liked it, but um, he said it was like top 20, so I guess it's not like totally worse. It was low key kind of salty and kind of dry, but I liked it. I would I eat it again? Yeah, probably. Uh, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't mind it. Uh, after that, we we kept walking. Uh, we went to Guitar Center. Guitar Center was uh, it was pretty cool because I Slash like was was there and we I guess we just wanted to look at some uh, some equipment because it, it was a big Guitar Center like a pretty big Guitar Center and I guess they have like musical appearances there but it was on like it was like a Friday afternoon so kind of nearing towards the evening and we uh, we also met Jake Miller you guys know who Jake Miller is he's a very popular singer musician um, all the team girls love him. And Barry knows him first. He he's more of a big fan of Matter. Barely knew him at all, but I looked him up like right away, and I was like, "Oh, this is cool. He's like famous. He's a cool dude." I didn't. All I said was like, "Hi," but uh, 
we didn't get a picture or anything. We we played it cool because he was with his girlfriend. He was shopping, so we don't want to like uh, we don't want to disturb him. But yeah, it was like that was our first famous person we saw, and probably another reason I didn't take the pictures because uh, he's a lot more attractive than I am. Uh, you know, I'm not a bad looking dude. I I think I'm pretty good looking, but he's a uh, next whole level, and he would outshadow me in photos. But that's an old whole whole another story. That's yeah, what, whatever. But it was cool meeting him. He seemed like a nice guy. And after that, what did we do? We went to the Ho we went to Hollywood Boulevard. Again, we went back. We uh, took a bunch of pictures. Again, more videos and stuff like that. Saw the stars and people trying to sell us their mixtapes on the streets. Like, oh my gosh, this dude really wanted to try and sell me his mixtape. He, oh my gosh, he was like ha hassling me. It's like, bro, I'm not, I, I don't want it. Technically, he would give me the mixtape, sign it. Then he like, oh, is there like a donation? I'm like, no, I, I need no. And then he would just take the mixtape back. I'm like, oh my gosh, ridiculous. Whatever. <laughs> um, after that, uh, yeah, I really wanted to find the Viners house. Cause I'm a huge fan of like Viners and everything. Like you know, like Josh, what, like Josh, Josh Peck. I'm a huge Josh Peck fan. I used to love the show Drake and Josh. Uh, like Lele Pons and uh, Logan Paul, Jake Paul. Uh, one of my favorite Viners is Enana. I like her because you know she's creative, she's funny, uh, creative, and she looks like my girlfriend. She actually looks kind of like my girlfriend, so I was like, oh, I wouldn't want to say, I'll, if I ever meet her, I want to say, you look kind of like my girlfriend, and I like her videos, and I like all the Viner's videos, I want to see, like, like King Batch and all of that, they all live in, like, the same house, we went by their house, but we couldn't go in, I was low-key thinking about booking it into their house, and be like, oh, um, oh and before that, too, bro, I saw, we, we, we saw James Franco, you guys know who James Franco is, he played in Spider-Man, he played in Pineapple Express, he played in that the North Korea movie, and this is the end and stuff and we saw him it was me and barry we were walking right and we were on like the street we we're walking it was kind of we're on hollywood boulevard it was kind of a not too busy part of hollywood boulevard but uh we saw him he, he was right as we we're going around the corner he came around the corner too going the opposite direction he was on his phone he's wearing a hat but i recognized him right away and then me and barry both turned around as he's walking and we're like oh my oh, that josh is that um is that james franco and we were my heart was beating because it was it was so cool he's like a legit famous person and uh, I'm a huge fan of him as well. I, I like all his movies and stuff. And we low key started following him, but we didn't say anything. We were like, James Franco! Oh my gosh! We didn't say that. Obviously, we, we were like, we're in shock, I think. Uh, but then he went into the building, like a hip hop dance studio or something. We're not sure why, because I don't think he dances. It, it was weird, but he's on his phone. There's a security guard outside the building, and we're like, was that James Franco? He's like, yeah, yeah, I think that was. I think that was. That's what he said. And. <laughs> That was that was cool. We wanted to, like we weren't sure if we wanted to go in or we wanted to wait for him, but it was, we we had to go on the rest of our night. But it was so cool. I saw James Franco and Jake Miller in the same in the same like same day. That was wild. And I wanted to see the Viners. We went to the Viners house. Like if you guys you know watch Viners stuff, I saw I was at their apartment outside, but I didn't want to be a stalker, or Lloyd or anything because I'm. I may be crazy, but I'm not that crazy, so. <laughs> I think we waited outside there, but just to wait for our Uber, because it was already getting kind of late. We, again, we can't go into clubs or anything, because we're, we're only 20, we're not 21, we can't, you know, there's a lot of 21 plus clubs in Hollywood, so we kind of do that, so we're like, hey, let's just get some food. And so we went back to Sunset Boulevard, took the Uber back to Sunset Boulevard, went to the again, so this, this low-key Chinese place, it was pretty good, you know, it's a, it a low-key thing, and I, I, I like those things, I like low-key, like, restaurants. Those are... You know, they're pretty good, and they got some pretty good food, and I know we liked it. It was kind of a cool night. We just started, you know, talking. It was, just a, it was a cool night. And after that, um, we took our Uber back, back to the hotel. It was just, it was a eventful day. We went shopping, saw two celebrities, uh, saw the sights and everything, bunch of, went to a bunch of stores, back to Hollywood Boulevard, you know, get them, go back to the Chinese theater and stuff. Went to the $5 store, too. Technically, it's a ten dollars store, but they they always say we're having a deal of five dollars, but it's always a five dollars. You know what's a scam? The guys are watching the video. The guys are a scam. Hope you guys know that. At that, we went back to the hotel. You know, watched some you know TV late at night. Um, ate some food. Went to the gas station. The gas station is right by the hotel. Got some got some snacks. Got some grub. And you know, played a cool the rest of the night. We just chilled and it was it was a fun night after that. So. Thanks guys for watching that video. It was, it was a fun day. Like, oh my god, I, I love California. The weather was great and it was perfect. Fun vacation, fun vacation. Two celebrities and all the food. Oh my gosh, I, I'm so, so excited. Oh my, the nostalgia is real. You guys ever go to California, go to LA first. I love LA. I'm going back there. I'm going to live there one day. So I want this YouTube thing to blow up. Okay, thanks.